Good morning. Happy Monday. I am quickly getting ready here. My hair is greasy and I literally just clipped it up in a little claw clip. Nothing professional about it. I'm probably gonna have to fix it. I'm just going to recurl these front pieces because they're looking a bit rough. So I'm just, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just going away from my face with this one. And then the other one was a little bit more towards my face. Just something to have a little bit more movement. That's it. I'm literally turning it off now. Putting it back in the charge. Okay. Yeah, I think that will do. It just needed a little bit of zhuzhing. We are, as in we, as in Patty and I, are going to Belfast because we have a little team meeting with Kristen. So we're gonna go over a bunch of different things. That's what's so great about having Patty on board full-time finally is he's very much a list maker and a perfectionist and loves like a an agenda, let's just say, where I'm more the creative and see the big picture. So I need that kind of person to like get me there. You know what I mean? Anyway, so we're gonna bring you guys with us. Literally always the worst angles. I'm quickly gonna show you how I take this blazer, which is very clearly a man's blazer. I found it in a thrift shop, loved the oversized shoulder pads and the price. I think it was like $5.99. It can definitely fit Patty, a little short on the arms, but I love it. I feel like it's very trendy without splurging. So I'm taking these little clear elastics show you the difference with this side, which just looks, I know it's still a vibe for some people, but I feel like I need a little bit of ruching and bringing it in. So you just pop it in the sleeve and then take in around. And it's like hidden inside, but it keeps the sleeve up. Cause obviously if I do this, it's just not gonna stay up. So I feel like it gives a little bit more structure to the look rather than this side and my trousers are like little cigarette ones so i feel like it just is a little bit more symmetrical with shaping sizing i don't know if i'm making sense but to me i like it and i feel like it just looks a little bit better so that's what i'm gonna do can you tell i watched what was it blonde the marilyn monroe movie um it's intense it's dark but I also think we fantasized her life and there's actually quite a lot of trauma and darkness that was in it that we kind of just looked past because of her image. So I think the actress Anna does something. She did a really good job, but it is a dark movie. I'll preface that if you decide to watch it. It's also like three hours, but I think the imagery was very creatively done, but again, quite graphic in areas and dark. I will say that. But one of the looks I feel like Marilyn did was like the cigarette trousers with a turtleneck. <laughs> Such a long way to get to what I wanted to say. And then obviously I modernized it with this dad blazer that I thrifted. I have my little ballet flats. <laughs> I need to get like a proper tripod so that you can see what I'm doing. With my lips, it just came in the mail actually. It is a Laura Mercier matte lips pencil in something rose and I popped it on with these chunky silver hoops put my hair up you saw me curl this and that's the look today we're here Hi. with the team <laughs> Kristen Patty who's so not <laughs> wait what is it on <laughs> opening your laptop <laughs> no, I'm just busy. you're so busy this is the the big team you guys good morning happy tuesday yesterday was one of those days where after our little team meeting it kind of just got away <laughs> from us we drove back home and we live about just under an hour from belfast and then i had another meeting we had to pick up the kids dinner papa came over it was just kind of just all happened and i forgot to pick up the camera surprise Anyways, it is Tuesday. I'm gonna be better even though it's another day of meetings. I'm gonna go for a run as soon as Patty comes back. He works out three mornings of the week, either six to seven or 6.30 to 7.30. 30. 
Today's the 7.31, hence why I'm going for a run at 7.30, not 7. Although, isn't it the worst waking up? And you're like, why is it 7.30 and it's dark out? <laughs> I can get with the darker earlier in the day, like at 5, because it's leading up to Christmas, like warm, cozy jazz music, hot drink. I don't care about that. That part doesn't bother me. It's the waking up at like a normal time between 7, 7.30, and it's like pitch black. That I can't do. I need brightness to like start my day. So I need to adjust my mind there. Anyways, I'm gonna go for a run, come back, and then we, Patty's gonna do drop off while I do ready because I literally did an oil mask. I'm starting to oil my hair on days that I wash it. So last night I oiled it all, which is literally just putting oil all in your hair, then putting it in a bun. So I need to wash it. Uh, get ready and then our first meeting is with our me, me oh my goodness I'm gonna talk. our media marketing team at 10 and we have to get in the car and go to Belfast again for another meeting at 12 uh, to talk all things affiliates for Pearl so I'm very excited about that one and then I'll check in throughout the day in between the meetings because obviously I'm not gonna film the meeting part but uh, I'll check in throughout the days. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot more chill. I think I'm gonna do like a sit down, maybe like chatty tutorial. I just saw Patty's lights. It's go time. Okay, we are on to meeting number two. I air wrapped my hair this morning and there was a moment where I looked like an 80s mom. It was not the moment. Now we're off to Belfast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not totally sure how my viewfinder looks really bright because it feels like it's pitch black in this room. It's nine o'clock in the morning and it is so dark. This is what it looks like with artificial lighting. You can see right away the difference. Like it's very studio. What do you think? I'm obviously gonna film without it today, but if you prefer this, let me know in the comments down below and I'll go forward using a studio little handheld light and this is what it looks like without just feel like it looks a lot softer maybe I'm wrong maybe it looks better with the light let me know in the comments down below anyways like I said the last two days were a little busy with meetings even this morning we had one at 7 in the morning with our team in South Korea but it was really good it was an hour of hashing out some details timelines making sure we're all on the same page with everything uh, and then today is just filming and editing and that's it. Not that that's it, but that's it. I'm gonna take two primers, I know. Primer, who am I? I never wear primer. But this one I just got in the mail. Cult Beauty sent over a Laura Mercier little package bundle. And this is, I feel like I've heard people talk about this. It's the Pure Canvas Primer. It's a hydrating one. So, I'm gonna put it also on my face at the moment because I had the meeting at seven. I didn't wanna just like wake up and look crazy. I put the By Terry CC Serum in Sunny Flash all over my face and a touch of concealer. So that's what's on my face currently. I'm gonna press this into my face. Obviously, I'm not looking for a blurring effect with this. It's for hydration and possibly a better application of my foundation that I put on. I'm not the biggest primer fan because I don't always feel like it does life-changing things. If you have a decent skincare base, then I feel like that's good enough. Anyways, moving on to this primer, which is Huda Beauty. It's a glowish by Huda Beauty. It's the Blur Jam. Ew, I did not know it was called Blur Jam. <laughs> it's not the nicest name. Anyways, uh, it's a silicone-free smoothing primer, which I am not for silicone primers. I feel like they just don't do anything for larger poured girls. It is like very red, but it's translucent once you pick it up. I'm gonna press this into areas that I have larger pores. And I've worn this twice already. I love how it sits on my skin. It doesn't clog my pores, which is great, but I don't feel like it like overly hides my pores, if that makes sense. So I'm like, is this a step that is just a little unnecessary for my makeup routine? I'm feeling like an OG product today. So my NARS Sheer Glow being my longest running foundation in my collection and my most repurchased foundation in Punjab. I'm just having one of those days where I'm like, I just need something I can like rely on and 
this foundation is it. So quick story time as I'm blending this into my skin. Oh, it is just so good. I'm glad I went with this choice. I repurchased the Skims bodysuit. I bought it whenever it first came out three years ago, two years ago maybe, and loved it, wore it all the time, and it started to like fall apart. Like the seams literally came undone and there was holes like all in the bottom area, the crotch area. And I wrote to them and said, I, look, like I love this, it's great. I think it was at like 15 months or 16 months after I purchased it. And I was like, can I just do like a straight exchange for a new one because it's so good and it's falling apart, like I can't wear it anymore. And they were like, oh, it's out of our one year warranty or something. Two things I have on this. They literally offered me like a 10% off discount my next purchase. Now owning a brand, any single complaint where like the customer is completely unhappy, we are so quick to replace, give an extra little goodie, something like that. That I feel like is customer service and we're a small brand in comparison to Skims, incredibly small in comparison. But we make sure that is a part of our customer service experience. So my two thoughts are, I know how much those little bodysuits cost and I know the margins are massive. The least they could do was just replace it. I didn't want a voucher or anything new. I literally just wanted the exact same thing. Like I loved the bodysuit. Second thing, there's probably people that do take advantage of that. Like, and just want new stuff all the time. <laughs> literally just this past summer, I took a year off and didn't even like consider them as an option. I actually bought a pair of Spanx um, and I love the Spanx, but it's not the same product. It's a, a different product. Anyways, long story short, I just repurchased the bodysuit and they have made some incredible revisions. So obviously there was complaints with it, the original one. I'm glad I got it because I know I do wear it. I got it in black and I get the size small medium and it literally looks like it could fit all of, like too small for all of my four year old daughter. And it just stretches and it just does its magic. I love it. I also did buy because of the branding and the marketing or not the branding, the marketing behind it was massive. The new bra launch. I'm gonna pause there quickly. I'm gonna use the Vive Concealer in shade Light 3. I feel like they might have revised it because I know they had bras before. So I don't know if it's a relaunch because she was going on about like years of development. So I don't know. Anyways, I bought like the everyday bra and like the scoop neck jersey one, which I'm currently wearing. I do know Skims does fit small. So if you're in between sizes, size up. But if you're true to size, just get your normal size. But the bras are really good. It's very unique. Uh, I'm so used to saying formula. It's a really unique fabric in the everyday bra. It's almost like spongy. I don't know. I didn't want like any incredible like lift or wiring or intense, you know, crazy padding. I just wanted it to be perfect for an everyday bra. I'm like, I feel like every girl is always looking for the perfect everyday bra. That was far too long of a story time, but going to take the Pearl Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. I want a nice warm bronzy bronzer. So I'm gonna take this one, which also, if you're an American follower from the United States, this is a great time to dabble into pearl if the conversion rate in the past maybe scared you because the dollar is literally equivalent to the pound. This is your time to shine <laughs> for pearl. <laughs> So definitely go check out down below. I'm obviously shameless plugging, but we're gonna try and make free shipping over the holiday months. We'll try and get that sorted. But at the moment, the currency is in your favor to shop Pearl. So back to the bronzer, taking the shade light, which is our warmest shade, like undertone. There's four of them, they're core four bronzers. There's fair light. Fair, light, medium, and dark. <laughs> I can get away wearing three of those shades. I tend to wear light the most. That's just like, it's my go-to shade. I've been wearing it since last January. Fair is beautiful on days. I want like a very natural, no makeup, makeup vibe. Like I kind of wear it on its own, like without foundation. And then medium, I do need a little bit of color, either fake tan or a little bit of sun, but it is so beautiful. It's like a terracotta rich chocolate brown and it looks more intimidating in the packaging, but once you blend it out, oh, so good. Check out our page or even my page. I've done a couple reels using it, but it's so, so pretty. I have an update on this primer. It is literally starting to pill. I was blending out my cream bronzer like I always do. And look, it's literally like lifting off my makeup. 
Okay, I'm gonna take that out of my makeup bag. It's this one because I didn't put that smoothing jam <laughs> on my cheeks. I put this one on my cheeks. It's gonna be a no from me. I'm gonna quickly do my brows off camera because I've been talking for literally 18 minutes. I'm gonna have to cut this so much, I'm sorry you guys. But I'm taking the Precisely My Brow from Benefit in 3.5 and just kind of filling in like sparse areas and then going in with my Glossier Boy Brow in Auburn. I love that combo. That Auburn brow gel is such a game changer. It just like softens everything else on my face because my brows are a little ashier, like my roots are showing. Although I feel like the camera exaggerates it because that's just what they do. Okay, moving on here. For a bit of color on my face, I'm gonna take a mixture of Put Together and Easy Going. I know Put Together is sold out and our brush is sold out, but the Real Techniques Face Expert brush is what I used prior to creating this brush and it works really great too. It's a different shape. Obviously this one is the preferred one, but I don't wanna leave you hanging and especially if you wanna try out that bronzer, if you have a Real Techniques um, distributor by you, I think they're even on Amazon, the Real Techniques Face Expert brush is a great alternative until we're back in stock. Now, going on with these two, I'm gonna mix Easy Going and Put Together. Easy Going is our warm peachy nude shade and put together is like our true brown rose mixing them for just a subtle little hint of color go back and forth like this and then i'm going to just start at the tops of my cheek dabbing it on and then bringing it to the apples of my cheeks i'm going to keep eyes really simple today i'm going to go back to another og just like the foundation something that i just like know is bomb.com which is the trifecta here Tweezerman Lash Curler. If you don't have a lash curler, get a lash curler. It just like literally elevates your lash status and makes them look a lot better. So if you haven't invested in a lash curler, this one's not expensive at all, do it. It is so good. Then I'm gonna take, ooh, ooh, sorry about that. We're gonna take the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Lash Primer, do a coat of that. And then I'm gonna take my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. It's a tubing mascara, doesn't transfer, smudge, or crumble on my eyes. I've been repurchasing it for almost two years now. It is so good, I love it. Stamp of approval on all three of these things. Try them. Those three together are magnificent. If you watched my previous vlog, you'll know that I ended on a teaser of a product I'm working on, which is obviously mascara. I am really, really, really trying on this mascara. I just sent it for um, a revision, but it's the first time I'm actually like, okay, I think we're a step closer to it being in production. So that's obviously a positive. I think a lot of the time with mascara, a lot to do with application is the wand itself. So I'm really just trying to nail that. I know I'm not gonna make everyone happy, but majority is my focus and that is hopefully what we do. I'm gonna let all those little marks that I got everywhere on my eye dry and then I'll just crumble them off. They don't really take that long. For lips, I need something hydrating. I feel like my lips are quite dry at the moment. This is MAC Girl. You know how much I love this lip liner. It is so good. I think I have like four in rotation. I just cannot live without this lip liner. And then the NARS Lip Mask, Orgasm Lip Mask. It is so good. So I'm gonna outline my lips and overline my top lip. And then I'm gonna take a generous portion of this lip mask. I know it looks a little concerning, but the finished effect is so pretty. I'm not gonna add powder yet because I don't feel like I need any. I've actually like reduced my powder intake under my eyes. I don't know if that's an age thing or a product shift thing of what I'm using. Maybe my skin's becoming drier. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I really wanna show you the setting powder that we're launching in November, but I wanna show you on more oily skin when my skin gets a little bit oilier. Although I did formulate it so that all skin types can use it, whether you're dry, combination, or oily. So at the moment, I feel like everything's looking good and fresh. So maybe I'll check in midday and do that for you. Okay, we are ready to go. We're gonna go edit in a coffee shop and I feel like this is the most fall winter I've looked in so long. Scarf is from H&M. This coat is last year, I think ASOS. Just a regular, I think it's an H&M like long sleeve black shirt. And then these trousers are Stradivarius, I believe, again, last year. Um, and then my little black leather micro Uggs because they're cozy. <laughs> 
that's the look. We just spent almost three hours in Fidella, which is a little coffee shop here in Coleraine. We are there weekly, sometimes twice a week. It's just nice to get out of the house, change the scenery, and I feel like we're more efficient with like editing and emails outside of the house because there's no distractions or less distractions. So we're here. If you're in Northern Latest Ireland, year. check it out because it is a Colombian <coughs> coffee shop and they actually get their beans from the family. What's farm. it called? The family farm in Colombia. Look at my eyes. <coughs> Hi guys, we're just here <coughs> at Fidella. Lana's coughing. You're like Olive She's there. whenever she vlogs. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me, Patrick. Let me preface that. She doesn't vlog, she just takes Patty's phone and records herself. That's the cutest thing. It is really cute. <laughs> Let's go get her a Halloween costume. Yeah, we're gonna go get her a Minnie Mouse costume because she asked for that. And there is a little disco at her school around that time. <laughs> you guys are balancing literally on my Dyson fan. <laughs> So you could slip off at any moment, but I felt like right now, let me show you quickly my face. It is one of those days where it was like black the first half of the day and now it's like incredibly sunny. Let me see if going back, really not great lighting. Maybe right here is the best. Anyways, I'm gonna be taking, it's not coming out until the end of November, the new Pearl Beauty setting powder. And of course, coming out in a core four collection translucent light medium and dark just gonna start dabbing in my t-zone like i mentioned previously i wanted this powder to be used and usable on all skin types so if you're looking for like intense powder coverage, caking, or baking, I mean, all that. This is not the powder. This is a wearable, everyday, touch up, keep your makeup in place, non-cakey, non-drying powder. And oh, it's just so good. The translucent is lovely on its own in the T-zone, and I tend to use the ones with a little bit of color in other areas of my face. I found a really good dupe for a bag that's been in my wish list for Christmas. And look. This is it. I got it for £3.50. It looks like those dragon bags, you know, the ones that are like five, six hundred pounds. It's so cute. Obviously, it's not <laughs> Italian leather. It's probably plastic, but the color is really good. It's a vibe. It's a look and a great long strap, not like a dinky one. Like it actually fits on your shoulder. It's a really good transitional little bag. So I'm happy with that. It is self-care night. Olive's at GB. Oscar's watching a show before bed with Patty, I took off my makeup. This is the Wind Atlas Pure Purifying Whipped Mask. This is what I have on at the moment. I am really liking this brand. I have a couple things from them. I bought, uh, first off, this like tinted water. It's like a bronzing tinted water because I don't tan my face anymore and I feel like that's really helped in the improvement of my skin. And then I've been trying some more things because I was intrigued. So this is the first time I'm using the mask and I'll let you know how it goes. I think I'm gonna end it here because it's Wednesday and I wanna get this edited and up for you for tomorrow. So we'll cut it here. I'm trying to vlog a little bit more because you guys always ask for it. So hopefully with more vlogging, I'll get better. If I can literally fit my, I can't with my mouth right now. It's like not, it's not right. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>